It is so hot in the Philippines. Why is my country really that hot? <sighs> Check this out, guys. Got myself a Nikon fan that's foldable and a Nikon t-shirt, which actually fits. The thing about camera events these days, they keep on producing large t-shirts that I tend to alter if I really want to wear them. So good job, Nikon. Hey guys, what is up? Joe here, back at it again with another tech review video. It's been a while since I've actually made a content like this and I do hope to produce more because I'm always on the go and there are times that I do wish I could just sit down and talk about gears. Having said that, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Nikon D5600 and five things I like about it. First thing I like about this camera is that it is insanely light. The body of this camera is made out of carbon fiber materials. So you can imagine carrying this all day long without feeling the weight of the camera. One thing I consider about choosing the gears whenever I travel is the weight issue. As a travel and lifestyle content creator, I tend to carry a lot of gears, which is like drones, action cameras, accessories, tripods, and having all that in your backpack is really straining. So. I had to sacrifice a DSLR before and holding this model is actually a big lifesaver because I do miss carrying a DSLR with me, I miss the quality and one thing's for sure, the weight of this is not a big issue for me. Another thing I like about this camera is the articulating touchscreen monitor. Now if you're a travel vlogger like me and I tend to shoot myself a lot, not because I'm vain or anything, but you need a articulating screen just so you can see if you're correctly in framed with the camera. And the touchscreen feature of this camera is very user friendly and it's much faster if I use a touchscreen rather than to use the buttons of the camera. It's much easier that way for me. Another thing I like about the camera is its vibration reduction capability. So it has decent VR if you're using a Nikon VR lens. And since I tend to shoot a lot of run and gun shoot, I don't usually have a tripod or a gimbal with me. The vibration reduction feature of this camera is very useful when you're shooting handheld. Another thing I like about this, it has a very responsive autofocusing system. When I was shooting at LU and zooming into a subject, the autofocus was really responsive and whenever I tried zooming out, it responds quickly. I like the face detection autofocusing system as well because especially when I'm always on the go and doing run and gun shoots talking in front of the camera, I can really rely on the face detection of this camera. And the last thing I love about this camera is that it has a long battery life. Based on experience whenever I'm using mirrorless cameras is that they really drain fast. So I, if you're using a mirrorless camera, I think you have to invest on like three to four batteries just so you can survive the day. But for me, I was able to survive one battery for just the whole day and then charge it for the next day. All right, so that's actually five things that I love about the Nikon D5600. If you're considering getting one of these, I believe that this camera is just for someone who wants to start off in photography, start on in videography, and someone who just wants to upgrade from a smartphone or action camera. If you consider buying one of these, head to Camera House. They have several branches around Metro Manila. If you want to check out their website, I'll put the link down in the description. If you guys want to be updated in my next video, whether it's travel or tech, go ahead and follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This is Joe Serrano signing out, and I'll see you again in my next video. See you guys. Check this out, guys. Whoa.